This is Lindsay Ford Street. Where they have the rubbish for a moi. For a Sunday, Saturday. And the rain for the whole place flood. And cranny. Get the street, Ford Street in Lindsay. Get a look like. What's up guys welcome back to my channel you know this is juba ends and i want you to make this channel your ends also and tell a friend to tell a friend say run come over here come subscribe to the channel like my videos and will a vibe pan the ends people a matter of fact parents i don't know what go happen but me know say una want no pity them me know me not tell you no say una not do it me a tell you no say me know say una want them but you no know, matter how you want a pity you know you see what them want to do, and what them are going to do. And the last time you hear about knife involving school students, one dead, one go prison, until them let him out, and one gone in a graveyard. Mother of your ball. Seen? Because she lose her son. And them say, the same boy did have knife, and him rush the other one with knife, and the other one defend himself. No, right as so. It is said that, a grade 11 schoolboy has been hospitalized after he was stabbed by his schoolmate in a twist of events at Knox College in Spallings on Monday. Reports are that sometime before 2 p.m., the schoolboy who was armed with a knife got into a confrontation with a grade 10 student. It is reported that during the confrontation, the grade 10 student used the weapon to inflict wounds to the face of the grade 11 student. People, it is said that the grade 11 student brought the knife to school to stab the grade 10 student. The grade 10 student managed to take away the knife from the grade 11 student and use it to stab him, a source close to the school said. The injured boy was taken to hospital where he was being admitted in stable condition. Last Wednesday, a 16-year-old Poros High School student was injured after being stabbed reportedly over $200. People who not hear this people on you know, hear these people the grade 11 student brought the knife to school to stab the grade 10 student the grade 10 student managed to take away the knife from the grade 11 student and use it to stab him that is what a source close to the school said and people last wednesday over porous one 16 year old school student got stabbed reportedly over 200 dollars now for people, tell me now, tell me, them something are well serious, you know? I am mean, here tell you, them say, you know, for no way not do because, remember, you know, me say the last incident me hear about, where a boy, them say the boy bring knife to school, and the other one defend himself with the next knife, right? The one with draw the knife first, and him dead. That's how them say, you know, say and him dead. And the other one who defend himself, got caught, and gone back in yard. And the one who bring the knife to school, him gone a graveyard. So you know as a grade 11 student to bring the knife to school and the grade 10 student know take it for you because you didn't want to stab him. So he managed to take the knife from you and stab you now. No trouble no night. No trouble can in night people because the youth are defending himself at this side right now because if they got free you one enough. You see how the things that now people? Them free you one where they kill him. See? Because them say man defend himself. So if you bring a knife to stab me you now and me take away your knife and stab you, me not supposed to get in trouble. Me not supposed to get in trouble. So here we know for do. Low out the knife business. Low out the violence out of school. Low out the fighting. And nothing won't go on because me are telling you, say, someone is going to have a right on the hand and get it. You are going to lose in a life. And all that going to happen, you know, parents have to bury you know, and nothing come out of it. It not make no sense. You don't have sense on a school picnic. Zin, when you can read and write, and you don't dance. So, when you act a dance for, eh? You don't act to dance as school people now, brother. You don't go out, you don't see that. You don't shame on yourself. You don't shame. School kids, you don't shame. When you're proud of? Who are proud of? When parents are seeing your video, fighting and going over yourself. Like, you're not sick, man. You're not, something, something wrong with you. I tell you, you're not school people. Something wrong with you. You don't learn. 
big old grade 11 school boy now. And you can have gone to school for stab grade 10 student. And him take fire and stab you. Suppose he kill you. Your parents them feel beat you when you reach home. Because you don't have a sense about you. I be a madness. And as I said, you don't have learn. Because look there. Them said the youth bring knife to school, you know. And the other one use that next knife and stab him, kill him in self defense and in get with scotch free. He no spend a day in our prison cell because them say man defend himself. So you know we bring a knife to school. Suppose the great 10 student he take it from you and kill you. Eh? You know just gone, so? You know just gone, you know? No, no, don't come out of it. I don't know if you're wise and that. Zin? And do things make an appearance and pro down. Yeah, you see me? I don't go bash no parents, you know. Because parents try. Enough parents are try with them picnic. And it does not work. Some of them picnic are just tough, so. And no business. See? But me are telling us that parents, one of them make no kids, them know, say, watch ya. Them have parents, you know. Make them know, say, I'm name mommy. I'm name daddy. And whatever me say, stand. You may tell you, make them know that point blank. So you see a boy or a girl, I go up and him pee and in queue from yard to school and from school back to yard because he knows that mommy no play, daddy no play. And a laughing matter about you. Oh, because one of the most hurtful thing in you know, the people is for you say you as a parents, mother and father, who no try so hard with your kids, Talk to them, you grow them in a right way, and then now them go out on the road, go do something bad. And because of them do bad, you have some people that talk about them workless mama, them workless papa, when you know say you're not worthless. How you go feel about that? Eh? Talk it out. And the kids, them not think about them something, they know. Them not think about the shame and the hurt where them make parents go through at all times. Is it? Me na bash no parents because me say a lot of parents try so hard with their kids. Majority. Seen? Out of 100, a 5 na try. But 95 a try. Me I tell you people. Enough parents to the right thing. Look upon the youth them. What kind of bag them away go school? What kind of shoes them away go school? The type of belt where them away go school. Seen? Mother and father make sure so them have everything for comfort them self. So they're not supposed to give no trouble. Zin, and if you go to school and something go wrong with a student, go home and tell mommy and daddy say, you know, no say that you there far around there so or that girl if I run there so I, I trouble me, I'm not like that, I'm not like this. Complain to mommy and daddy. Zin, but make sure you complain to the teachers first. Right? And all when the teacher do something about it, you complain to mommy and daddy. Make mommy and daddy know what go on. Right way that. Seen? Parents talk to no kids. Ask them what go on at school. When they come home from school, say, what go on today? You get me and say, who trouble you? Question them because maybe they want to say something, but them don't want to say it because you know, ask them. See? So nobody wait for them to spit out certain things. Feel out your kids. Talk to them. And remember, if you ask to your kids, say, like, what go on today at school? You know? And them tell you. Tomorrow, if something go on, remember you have to ask again. The picnic and come home come tell you because the picnic can relate to you. See? So parents, you know they phone the kids a lot, but you know still have to talk to them and question them. But even in the questioning, some of them still not tell you what go on catch you. Some of them wrong too. They can't say, Mommy, you know say that go on because they know say them at fault. You get me I say? And you as a good parent just dead and don't know nothing at all. And then you get bashed in the long run. Cause they must say you're a workless mother, workless father when you try so hard with your kids. It is very sad out there, may I tell you. The school kids, them, a be a madness them are going with people. Be a madness. I mean, hate to see video them. I mean, hate for years, say, school kids are fight. Knife this and knife that. It is not nice. I mean, I like them something there, may I tell you. Because at the end of the day, them are going to lose their life and nothing now come out of it. Because nobody now go witness a court, say, me did see stab him, me did see stab him. Yo, hear me, I say, man, you know better know what I do. Because you know three pints, I go get taken away by one of peers and nothing now come out of it. All I get, I want big old candlelight, want big old night night, I want big funeral and people are ball. That's all I get. And I just done something. And I dead young and I own nothing in my life. A full time, I wise up school kids, I tell you, I know what I do. Because life today for living. Life is there to live, I tell you. So try doing the best in school and try to graduate and make something on yourself. And stop the violence in schools because I kill it or kill all of you and I get stabbed up and look like nothing in the future. 
Yemi asana man. Be wise. I'm out.